These are pentacle court hacks you probably do not know. You may know them, but do you know how to use them effectively? The number one on the list is how to add your video to CapCut. If you have not edited before, if you are just starting out, this is a detailed tutorial which you need to know before you dive in. So, all you need to do is to watch this video to the very end before starting out your editing journey. First on the list is how to add a video to CapCut. For the ones that you can do with any other editing app, such as adding a video and the rest, Please feel free to use any editing app of your choice, right? Now, let's dive in. When you want to add a video or import one, once you click on CapCut, we all know that you click on new project, right? Once you do so now, click on the particular video that you want to import, and then this is where you need to add. Now, to add it, you don't just click on new project. When you click on new project, click on this ad right here then your video will be imported right so this is how to add a view to CapCut. do you know how to remove background noise from your video now the number two is how to do that let me show you how to do that in a few seconds are you ready to learn let's dive in to remove background noise simply go to CapCut, import the video that you want to remove the noise tap on it then scroll left go to reduce noise click on it and toggle it on go back Go to isolate voice and keep voice. Once done, screen record and here you go. Your video will not have any noise and you do not have to pay. Hack number three is how to filter or color grade your videos. Most of you might be hearing color grading, color grading, color grading. Now, let me give you a short tip on how to color grade your videos using CapCut. Okay, you can do this using InShot app, but let's use CapCut. Click on new project, import your video if here, but mine, let me use this. Of course, you can split and delete the parts you do not want, which we will teach in this video. Now, click on the video to color grade it. Go so to retouch, face, this author right here, I will turn it off. You can use it once in a month, but I do not need it. I'm already a fine girl now. <laughs> so all you need to do is to smooth your video a little bit then you can whiten your teeth a little depending on the whiteness of your teeth <laughs> go to adjust click on brightness increase the brightness feel free to you know play around this go to contrast a little bit saturate saturate a little bit as well then sharpen the video depending on how it suits you right graph this is where you take it lightly just increase it a little bit of course i have an rgb light so it will help this video shadow right here decrease the shadows a bit for me this is fine and this is how it looks after color grading of course you saw how it is before and after number four on our list is how to add a background music many of you will always wonder how do i add music in your talking head video or just your normal video and in this tutorial I'll be showing you right away how to do that using CapCut. Let's go. If you want to add music, click on CapCut. Go to the project that you want to work with. All you need to do is to tap on this Add Audio right here. This is Add Audio right here. Once you tap on it, Audio right here. Tap on Sounds. There are lots of sounds right here which you can choose from. Some are free and some are in paid version, right? You can scroll here. There are peaceful and calm piano and the rest of them so if you want to add the one in your phone simply click here and then click on device and you have to choose the one from your phone but in this phone i do not have any so we'll go back and i will choose this second one right here tap on this plus sign right here to add to your video and that is it and number five on our list is a very important topic it's very easy but so many persons do not know how to do it and you might be included Am I wrong? How to split a video from the middle. This is not just you know, about cropping your videos. No, it's about splitting and cutting out the middle part of your video, which you do not want. And now let's dive in. Let me show you how to split your video from the middle without having to delete all your projects. Let's go. To split the middle part of a video, go to in short, click on video, new, then import the video that you want to work with. Once you tap on the video, click on this green sign right here. And here is it right here on InShot. Tap on the video. If you want to split it from the middle right here, go to the options right here. Click on split. 
and as you can see it has splitted the video go to the exact point where you want to split out still click on split again please note you do not just click on split once and delete no let's undo this as you can see now i only split it once so if you delete this it will delete the whole video right here let's undo again bear in mind that this is undo button right here and redo okay but you have to go to the exact point where you want the video to continue then tap on split again then click on the middle one that you do not need and delete here is it right if you just tap on this one and delete everything will be gone but once you go to the exact point where you want it to start split again and then tap on the one that you do not want and delete this is same thing you can use in any video editing app of your choice right i just decided to use in short for this tutorial number six is how to overlay a video let's go to overlay your video go to capcut click on new project and import your video now that the video is right here if you want to overlay another one simply click on overlay right here add overlay and import any other video of your choice import any other video that you want to overlay use your two fingers to pinch the smaller one and then you can decide to keep it anywhere or still maintain the same size right move it to the starting point if that's what you want as you can see there are two videos right here if you want to mask feel free to go ahead anything you want to do now if you want to pinch it in you can do that if you want to increase it and mask go ahead to do that so that's how to overlay a video in CapCut. okay now let's quickly look at this if you overlay a video right here okay this is an overlaid video right and you want to drag the overlaid video okay do not start dragging it from here right my students have this problem a lot do not drag it from this white border no when you bring in your overlay and you want to push it to the end hold it this way with your finger and push it do not do not drag it from this white border once you do it will start labeling the ones you do not want but when you push it it will just you know start from where you want it same thing with this place do not push them from this white border right here hold it and move it okay move it and do not drag this way no just tap on it hold it and move it i hope you got this the number seven on our list is very important just like others and the seventh one is how to sync and add your voice over when you want your voice over to be fast there are a few things that you need to put in place to make sure that everything aligns appropriately now let me show you how to do that in a few seconds to sync your voice over first go to capcut or any editing app that you bought go to your voice over this is it right here this is the first one always remember to increase the volume and this is the second one right here all you need to do is to drag this one closer to this one you can decide to do them manual you know you can decide to do a long voice over and then split or do it gradually if you want to learn more about voice over and device check the description i will be dropping the link to a detailed voice over video so feel free to click on it and watch the voice over video for this all you need to do is to bring this together like this and this is it so this is how to sync it you can decide to bring it closer 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 or move it a bit so they can sync together so that is it now we are in number eight and this is very much important you may think of sharing this video to somebody that you love who would like to learn video editing now in number eight we'll be talking about a short yeah if you need all the details Check my videos. I have done a proper video on how to navigate InShot app. But right now, let me show you a few things that you might not know about InShot app that are actually free. Let's dive in. All right, so this is InShot app. And once you click on it, click on video and new. Tap on any video you want to work with and click on this green button right here. Now, this is it. And the good thing is that you can use this app free of charge. First of all, let's start with 
filter this is for color grading and everything here is free except this hsl and this author just like a code but like a code everything here is free right you can use the filter there are three modes which are so many right so let's go back let's go over to split volume speed so these are so many things you can use and the good thing i wanted to show you guys is to remove background here is actually free you don't know right now you know all you need to do is to click on cut out and everything is gone right so as you can see you can use this to remove your video background which is pro in cap course and so many other things which i have made a video check the description so you watch the full video on how to use in short app even if you're a beginner the ninth one on our list is auto caption yeah 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 i know you have been wondering how to make your words appear on your screen without you having to do that manually let me show you how to add auto captions to your video let's go all right to add auto captions to your video that is to write what you are saying on your video first go to CapCut app make sure to increase the volume so it can get everything you are saying right most times it can actually make mistakes so all you need to do is to go through it after generating the auto caption so you correct them and note this is a pro feature right you have to pay to use it or i have thoughts on how to navigate support pro features right so check my description box so you can get to watch the full video so now all you need to do is to click on any one that you want and click on generate right you can use this once in a month free here in CapCut. but apart from that you have to pay to choose it or you can act, you can actually type it out manually if you need the full tutorial on how to do this manually let me know in the comment section and i may do a video on that it will take a little time just be patient as you can see this is all so kindly is it go back and this is as you can see this is it right here it will write everything that you are saying all you need to do is to adjust it and go through it to make sure you correct everyone that it didn't get correctly it can make mistakes right so this is how to get auto captions very easy right i know and the last one on our list is how to use chat gpt to script your videos for your videos for your vlogs anyone at all let me show you how to do that immediately if you want to make a video but you do not know how to go about it for example you want to make a video on tips or how to make chinchin right you bake or you just need the correct word sometimes you know speaking without looking at any script can make you talk too much yes but having a script will make you it will make it more reasonable and will bring all words together instead of you having to think of it you know it guides you when making a video. Even if you know what to do, you can still use ChatGPT to get few things and add to it, right? Get few more points, add it to what you want to say. And you can tell it may be better than just doing it by yourself. You can check ChatGPT if what it gave you isn't good. You can still trash it, right? And do it with the one you have. All you need to do, you can type it out manually or use this voice record right here. Okay, Betsy. Now I want to make a short video on how to bake chin chin. Help me with a short script so I can use it in my talking head video. I want it to be short and simple. So after saying what you want to say, feel free to pour out your mind so it will know exactly what you want, right? Then it will give you a short script. So that is it talking hair script how to bake chin chin so want to learn how to bake bake chin chin that's crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside let's go right so this is beautiful and short you take it one line two lines and your video is set right so that's the simplest way to get your script so this is the simplest way to get your script and film your videos now content is very easy so start creating and bonus to this video i decided to add this because i know you might actually need it do not forget to drop my thank you in the comment section because i know you will love this video let me quickly show you how to edit a reaction video let's go 
To edit a reaction, you head over to CapCut, click on New Project, and import the video that you want to work with. Click on Overlay, Add Overlay, and import the second video, which is the commentary video, right? So import your commentary video. You can use Remove Background, but it improves. So you can do this in InShot app for free. Paste it in just like we talked in the other video and paste it anywhere that you want. Right? So this is how to edit a reaction video. Okay, you can use you can do this in CapCut. Check the description box so you can get to know exactly how to use CapCut for free. Watch the video over there and the rest of the videos in the description box to learn more. I know you learned a lot and also love this video. So do not forget to subscribe to this channel and make sure to like and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! -bye.